Photoshop CS5 includes an incredibly useful companion application called Adobe Bridge. This additional application is automatically installed for you when you install Photoshop, so there's nothing extra you have to do to get it. But what the heck is Adobe Bridge, and why should you care? Well, in simplest terms, Bridge is an easy-to-use visual media manager. It allows you to organize, browse, locate, and view your photographs and other media files. Bridge in itself is not a central database, but rather provides a visual view of how you've organized your files on your hard drive. Because Bridge is a separate application, Photoshop itself does not need to be running, but as you'll see throughout this course, it is often pretty handy to have both applications open at the same time. What you're seeing right now is the default interface of Adobe Bridge. I'm viewing a specific folder of images on my hard drive, and you can see the path to that folder up here at the top of the window, this little strip here, this path bar. If you want to jump to any location in this path, you can simply click that part to be taken there. Bridge displays the contents of the current location as easy to see thumbnails. If you want to open an image in Photoshop, you just simply double click on the thumbnail that you want to open. So let's go ahead and do that by double clicking that image. Now that we're in Photoshop, to get back to Bridge, there's a couple different ways to access Bridge from within Photoshop. You can do it simply by going to the File menu and choosing Browse in Bridge. It's kind of a cousin to the Open command. You can see both commands have their own unique keyboard shortcuts here. So there's the Browse and Bridge command. If you don't want to bother with the menu, there's also just a one-click button here that makes it pretty quick as well. You can click the Launch Bridge icon to jump back to Bridge. Once you're back in Bridge here, and if you want to go back and forth to Photoshop, you can either just double-click on the thumbnail again to go back to that particular image, double-click on any other thumbnail to open that image as well, or you can click the boomerang icon up here in the upper left corner of the Bridge window to be taken back to Photoshop.